Hey, hello, good evening. Uh, today is the 23rd of October 2022. Uh, it's a Sunday evening, just past 10 in the evening. Uh, vlog number 29, here it goes. <clears throat> I made some appointments the other day, having a busy two weeks. First, I made an appointment for a new Corona shot, my fourth one. Made two appointments for the dentist to extract some teeth. I got an invitation for a flu shot. I never had one actually, but since I'm diabetic, I do need one. I can get ill more easily because of that. Besides, my white, bl blood, my white blood cells are lower as well, since I'm taking clozapine, an antipsychotic medicine. I need to take some blood samples for a meeting with my doctor as well. Then, upcoming weekend, I have the art route in my hometown of Volendam. Finally, that is. Really looking forward to that. <clears throat> Maybe I will put two movies online, one from the art route and one from the usual vlog. Today, I had a new corona shot. My father went with me and waited outside in the car. Really grateful. It didn't take long. I could skip the line and was helped soon afterwards. It didn't hurt a bit. After the shot, I needed to wait for 15 minutes. That is a standard procedure. There might be some symptoms like fainting. I ordered a new book. I already have it in my possession. A book from José Silva, The Mind Control Method. I saw a movie online and thought it was interesting. He helped out many people with a different point of view, like meditating and measuring the brain waves from his clients, mental instabilities, increasing creativity from children to adults could all be helped with his method. So I want to read it. It was only 21 euro. The other day, a friend bought some items to my doorstep. I got some JBL boxes, a receiver, some cables, a Roland guitar, of a keyboard and an old computer with Pro Tools on it. He told me that the computer is full and out of date, but for to learn how to make music, it is a great first step. Otherwise, he would have thrown it away. Always wanted to try that out. If I do like it, I can always buy the new version of Pro Tools. That means I have to save up money for that. I need to rearrange my room a bit and will do that soon. I ordered some cables I need for that, which will be delivered tomorrow. I can put the items on my on the table in my room. That means I have a great winter, painting, writing, and making music, going to the gym as well, getting out of my comfort zone. It are things I do like, so that is a great new start for me, trying that out, and I hope it will go well, of course. Anyways, first I have the art route and the appointments, then afterwards, I would love to try it out. I decided to go for it. In the last couple of days, I wondered about improving myself. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone again, adding things in my life. Because I got Pro Tools to make music, I started to think about the future. I want to use my time I have. Writing and making vlogs is the first one. Painting about the afterlife, the second one. Letting the dog out. I'm making music, going to the gym, reading and investing again in cryptocurrencies. I think these things are worthwhile to do as a daily routine. Anyways, I will do it with my first three steps with my three steps method I can manage and fulfill the things I want to do. I'm watching some series and a movie every now and then as well. That is for the future. I have to do something. I do know I'm psychotic and schizophrenic. When I'm not able to do these things, that's okay. But I'm trying to add it into my life. Adding things in my life again. It was really gone. I was really gone down and out. I'm getting my senses back a bit, and that's a good thing. Taking my time and no rush. Finally, the day arrives that the art route will have a go. Today, I can bring my paintings to the location, and tomorrow, the art route will start. Saturday and Sunday. This morning, I put some paintings I want to take with me together. I decided to bring six smaller ones with me, with the sizes of 100 by 80 centimeters. The better ones, in my opinion. Then I want to bring five of the larger paintings with me, and these are 200 by 100 centimeters. Strong and colorful paintings. My brother, who will help me out with the transportation, will contact me later on today. He's working at the moment. I hope we can do that within one drive, and otherwise in two. I'm listening to Elvis at the moment, and just had dinner with my parents. Hutspot, which was a really great meal. The other day, the other day, my brother helped me out bringing the paintings to the location. Really grateful. I brought them upstairs with the elevator with a friend of mine. She is the head of the art community and gave me some advice and tips to put my paintings in the art space I got. I put four of the larger ones on the large wall I had. I had some help from another person who's with the art route as well. In front of the paintings, I put two tables with a distance of at least two meters and an easel with two smaller paintings on them in between them. 
On Saturday morning, I got up early. I made some coffees, did my internet routines and took a nice shower before going to the art route. It started with three speeches from different people, including that friend of mine and other people from my community. Were really great ones. Then we had some time left for the artists to watch each other's work. There were some great paintings in between them. The artists did really great. The bar is really high. Upstairs, I sat next to my own paintings and I had some nice conversations about it. There are also three other artists in the same art space and we had some nice conversations about each other's work. Friendly people. Then the art route started. Sometimes it was a bit crowded and sometimes no soul to be seen. The people that showed up were really interested in our artwork. I had some nice conversations. There was a woman who gave a lecture in an hotel about my artwork she saw. Um, <clears throat> she saw it at my other exhibition in the library of Vandam from April this year. I thought that was nice. I didn't get any reactions back then, so that was a big surprise. She searched some things from me up on the internet and showed some of my artwork for, to the people, mostly from my pastel series. I drew with pastel for many years, before starting with acrylics again. She asked me to send some movies and photos of mine to her email. I saw some friends from my parents other people I knew and the mother of a Passover friend of mine. We had a great conversation and she and her friend even bought some books of mine. Many other people showed up as well. Most of them thought my artwork were really colorful. I had a really great day. Tomorrow is the last day of the exhibition and some friends of her family will come over as well. I think that's nice. <clears throat> the day ended. <clears throat> Today, I had the second day of the art route in my hometown of Vallendam, the Netherlands. It went really well. I arrived on time around 11 a.m. First, a cup of coffee before going upstairs to the second floor where my art space was. I said good morning to my two fellow artists. Some nice conversations. It was fun. The people showed up and we had some nice conversations. Some friends of mine showed up as well. I thought it was nice of them. Again, some nice conversations. I had some really interesting conversations, actually, <laughs> about the afterlife and reincarnation. Also about the author and the medium, Josef Rulof. Maybe even more than four, actually. Someone who helped out psychotic people talk me as well, and was very interested in my poetry and stories as a schizophrenic. I saw an aunt of mine, whom I hadn't seen for a long time. It was a good chat, with a great hug for the both of us. Also someone from the local newspaper, with whom I had a small chat. And he made a picture of me in front of my artwork as well. I saw many people today, which did me really well. Some friends asked me to make a commission for them. I'm allowed to make anything in my own style, but on a canvas from 20 by 20 centimeters this time. I accepted the challenge and will start soon with that. The end was near and we decided to clean up the room. I brought all of my paintings downstairs via the elevator. Watched the ending of the art route with a great speech and some prizes for the ones that participated in the contest. I didn't though. Then my brother arrived and brought me back home with my artwork. It is raining heavy at the moment. It's great to be at home. And then the last piece. It were really nice days, actually. Sometimes I was a bit sensitive, but it went well. No weird thoughts as I usually have. It was a while ago since I had interactions like this with so many people. There was a great atmosphere and really friendly people throughout the entire two days. People from high school, friends from my parents, some friends from my brothers as well, some friends and other people. People were interested in my story I had to tell. It were interesting days for sure, sometimes out of the blue, some painted as well, and some were even thinking about the afterlife, more than I thought actually, and that was really interesting. Also from people who didn't believe a thing. Mostly they did believe something about the afterlife, and I thought that was great to see. The other two artists in the art space today were really great people, some nice conversations about many, many things. I think it was sometimes the weirdo in a way, that I couldn't talk consistent. Always needed some time in between the conversations to get my thoughts back in order. I must say, it went better than I thought. I was in a good flow. I sent an email the other day to the lady that gave a speech of mine in a hotel a while ago. That was about my older artwork mostly. I had a small chat with her today. I thought that was nice. It is interesting to see how many, who, how my mind worked in the last two days. It was a while ago since I had that in a really, really great, good matter. Okay, that was it for today. Um, I say, let's have, um, I wish you all a great day and I see you guys next time. Bye.